Ja, einen wunderschönen guten Abend, liebe Community. Wir sind hier bei Akella und das primäre Spiel, das wir uns heute anschauen und anhören werden, ist äh, Postal 3. Und dazu haben wir natürlich einen kompetenten Interviewpartner hier, der uns auch Ingame-Sequenzen zeigt. Wir versuchen die natürlich auch für euch irgendwie parat zu stellen, müssen wir da mal schauen. Okay, um, we are from SG Access and like to know more about your game, Postal 3. Uh, who, who are you and what's your position in this company? Okay, hi guys. Um, my name is Andrew Belkin. I'm a producer of this game. I uh, basically we work uh, at Akela in Moscow. We work in cooperation with uh, Ryan with Scissors, the uh, original creators of the Postal franchise. And I'm very happy to present to you the Postal 3 on Xbox 360 at the show at Cologne 2010. Yeah, you said it's on the Xbox 360. If, are there any plans to uh, release it for other consoles too? Um, it actually is for 360 and PC right now. But we have plans for PlayStation 3, but um, officially uh, it's not yet announced, so it's more of a um, plans, so to say. So officially, for now, it's only on two platforms, PC and 360. Okay, Postal 3 looks for us like a shooter right now. What's the main game content in the game? What's the goal you have to reach? Well, um, It does look like a shooter, but in fact, we call it a, a social satire game. Because, um, as you guys noticed, most of the game and most of the scenes we're showing, they're extremely hilariously fun. And that's what we are trying to reach. Uh, we are trying to make the player laugh as much as possible at every gag we have in the game. For instance, what I'm playing now, the Taliban is back from you remember Postal 2, and I am to fight them back from the uh, uh, compound, the secret compound of Akazilas, which are supposedly yet my friends, but of course I can kill them all as well. Yeah, you already noticed the Taliban, we uh, have seen some minutes before already another nice uh, easter egg uh, guy who looks like Super Mario. <laughs> Oh, that's a uh, Ron Jeremy. That's our um, celebrity star. Um, y you know, Ron Jeremy is a super porn star. He did like 4,000 something porn movies in his life. And here he plays himself. Um, he is the uh, owner of the porn shop. This is where one of the first game missions appear. And he's an important character, central character in the whole storyline. Because um, he runs for the mayor in the in, in the catharsis, and well, I won't spoil the whole story, but trust me, uh, this guy will deliver a lot. Okay, we have different maps. Um, do they work as levels, or will you have a whole world which is connected with that, or does they separate it from each other? Well, um, actually, the, the game this time is mission driven. So you go from one mission to another, but uh, some missions allow you to explore the city of Catharsis, and uh, uh, at some point, w we believe it basically it's the best combination to deliver the, the action gameplay and uh, to allow some free time for the player to uh, go around and play with the weapons uh, we have and. We have a lot of weapons and a lot of crazy weapons. Yeah, it's the third part of the game. Which, is, What is new and uh, what did the player did not see in the parts before? Um, of course, it's the new weapons and this time it's a crap, crazy weapon centric, especially like right now I'm playing with the Badger, which is uh, already became trademark for Postal 3. A crazy, uh, crazy version of the chainsaw, but you know, we thought that chainsaw is going to be way too boring, so uh, the hardest badger is kind of funnier, but a little harder to navigate. And uh, we have the beehive. I'll try to find a safe spot to use it because it's a little, um, little too hard to use yet. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> okay. 
thing is, I, I forgot to switch the God mode on for the presentation, so they will actually kill me if I'm not gonna be, you know, a little more concentrated on the game. Yeah, let me show you the cat grenades, by the way. When you stick up a grenade, up into cat's ass, and then you release it! <laughs> Yeah, I personally like cats. I have cats at home, and <laughs> but it's still funny uh, already because I love <laughs> them. But uh, the game looks very funny uh, itself, and still have a component that makes you laugh, but also want to reach your goal. Right, and that that's what the missions and missions objects are about. Uh, this was um, one of also things we, w we wanted to improve in Postal is uh, to make the player always be responsible for what he does. Uh, I mean, for instance, in Postal 2 you could potentially complete the game without actually killing anybody, but nothing, nobody was telling you about that, and there were no rewards for that, so it was like the challenge for super fans. And here, this time, it is a matter of choice, and uh, if you're trying to play more lethally, you'll get one storyline. If you are trying to be a better person, um, then you'll probably get a new storyline, and ma maybe even new missions, maybe even new features. For instance, the dude might be enlisted into police and try to make, at some point, a career in the police department. but. Well, I won't spoil more because uh, it's another portion of hilarious fun. Okay, and are you able to mix uh, that storyline up or you have to decide for one, one way in it's a No, 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 it wouldn't be us if we would lock it. You can mix it up and that's, that makes the story even more crazy because it allows you to fight in one mission for bad guys and then you're kicked out of the police department and then you're playing insane guy, and then at some point you made something good, and then you're, you know, like, called back, okay, we are ready to call you back in the police department, wi which makes, okay, I, and the dude is there, like, oh, yeah, but I shoot, like, 150 people. Oh, it doesn't matter, we can tell them they're illegal aliens, so. What do you think when we can play that uh, third part here in Germany? I think you guys should wait for next year, and next year you'll definitely have it even maybe on another platform, uh, as we talked previously, <laughs> not only 360. Okay, and one last question. Uh, what do you want to say in a few sentences about the game? What's the main uh, idea you want to present with that game? I would say it's a social style comedy which enforces you to choose what you want to do. What what, like like here, like I'm playing the uh, Jane Walcott's bodyguard, I'm playing with the taser, but now I shoot it and now cops arrived and the whole mission is twisted and so, yeah, in one sentence it's, uh, it's a black humor, but a um, responsible actions of the player. You gotta think in advance, like, like you wanna do something, then be ready for consequences to appear. Okay, I'd like to thank you for that interview. We are proud to uh, show both scenes and in the interview on our um, show. And if you want, you also can get a copy of that. And <laughs> <laughs> so you can see how you play at it. <laughs> so I'll post it on our page. We are launched. By the way, postal3.com should be up already. So uh, today we launched our official page. So we are gathering all the news there. Thanks, have a nice uh, day, have a nice stay here in Cologne. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you so much.